Hello everyone, welcome back to Data Crafting with Sneha. Today we are going to solve a medium level question that was asked by Zomato. So let's start with our question. Zomato is a leading online food delivery service that connects users with the various restaurants and cuisines, allowing them to browse menus, place orders and get meals delivered to their doorsteps. Recently, Zomato encountered an issue with their delivery system due to an error in the delivery driver instructions. Each item's order was swapped with the item in the subsequent row. As a data analyst, you are asked to correct the swapping error and return the proper pairing of order ID and item. Okay, if the last item has an odd order ID, it should remain as the last item in the corrected data. For example, if the last item is order ID 7, tandoori chicken, then it should remain as a order ID 7 in the corrected data. Okay, so basically each item's order was exchanged with the item in the next row and our task is fix this mess and pair each order ID with the correct item. Okay. So let's look at the orders table. Contains order ID and item. So order 1 should have been a chowmin but it shows pizza. And order 2 should have been a pizza but it shows chowmin. Okay. And look at the output. Order 1 now correctly has a chowmin and order 2 now has a pizza. And this swapping continues and since the last order ID 7 which is odd tandoori chicken remains in a place. Okay. So how we can do this? For odd order ID if the order ID is odd and not the last order. So we add 1 to it to swap it with the next even ID next even order id right and for even order id we subtract one to swap it with the previous odd order id okay and if the last order id if it is odd we leave it as it is like tandoori chicken okay so let's move on to the sql server first we will Count the total orders. Select from orders. Count order ID as a total orders. See, in the output, it will count the total orders. Total orders are 7. Right. Now, we will make it as a CP. Select. Case when. Order ID. Mod 2 not equal to 0. And. Order ID not equal to total orders. Then order ID plus 1. Okay. So uh, it checks if the order ID is odd and the mod operator gives the remainder after division by 2. If the remainder is not 0, not zero then the number is odd okay and this ensures that we are not modifying the last order if it is odd then we will add plus one to the order id okay swap it with the even order id then when order id mod two not equal to zero and order ID 
equal to total order orders then order id this condition for last order order id mod 2 not equal to 0 means the order id is odd and order id equal to total orders means the order id equal to the last order id then we leave leave it as it is okay else we swap it to the odd order id order id minus 1 if the order id is even then we swap it to, swap it to the odd order id okay end at the correct order id comma atom from CT and orders. Okay. We are using here total orders from the CT. So from CT and order ID from the orders column. So I will use orders table also. Okay. Now I will use order by correct order ID. So it will give us the correct order. See. First, chowmin, second, pizza, and last order ID is odd. So, it will remain same. Okay. Now, let's move on to our second approach. So, in this approach, we will use built-in SQL window functions like lead, lag, and colas. So lead function fetches data from the next row in the result set. For example, row 1 pizza and row 2 chowmin. Then lead item will give us the chowmin from row 2. Okay. And lag function fetches data from the previous row. And colas function return the first non-null value from a list. Example, colas, null, pizza, and chowmin. Then it will return pizza because it is the first non-null value. Okay. So let's start with our query first select order id then colas case when order id mod 2 not equal to 0 then lead item over order by order id right for example order id 1 which is odd then lead item fetches the item from order id 2 okay then when order id mod 2 equal to 0 means order id is even then it will fetch a slack previous item it will swap with the previous item over order by order id okay and then Item. End. From orders. As item. Now I will 
run this query and see it will give us the correct so in the colas function ensure that if lead or lag returns null which can happen at the end of the data set so we default back to the original item okay for the last order id 7 lead item would return null because there is a no rec no next row so colas then use the original item value keep it unchanged okay keeping it unchanged so i hope you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you